All right, we'll get you rolling this morning. Reminder, fill out your evals, drop them in the box at the back of the room, please. Just a reminder, turn off your cell phones. Welcome to day two of Coffee Fest here in Seattle. Mike Spence is the Vice President of Selbysoft Inc., a company dedicated to providing complete computer point-of-sale solutions. Since his professional career started in 1994, he personally installed SP1 in over 100 locations and provided technical solutions and advice to customers with diverse individual needs. Mike has also run the day-to-day -day operations for customer service and sales development. In addition to this, he's directly influenced the development and direction of software and hardware products to meet customers' needs based upon intimate knowledge of industry trends. Mike's experience provides valuable insight on how new and existing stores can use POS systems to leverage their technology to become more efficient and profitable in their businesses. Mike has worked to make SP1 for coffee an established product and his leadership has made Selbysoft a proven pioneer in the POS system for the coffee industry. Please welcome your speaker this morning, Mike Spence. Thanks everyone, that's uh, um, written by someone else. <laughs> um, what we're gonna talk about here this morning is uh, tracking and increasing sales with technology. And, uh, I do. Uh, Cola, do you have those, the handouts? Did you put them on the table back there? Okay, it should be on the back table there. <laughs> and uh, one of the things we talk about with technology is, um, you know, how are we going to use this to increase what's going on in your store? To... Not, um, That's all I had. Yes, I can. Uh, I'll make sure I email you one if, if you uh, give me an email address after the class. We can certainly do that. So what does all this mean? And uh, what, what I find amazing is that how passionate the coffee industry is. Um, what you guys will put into your businesses in order to get it started or if you've already got a business started, you know, to keep that running. What's really interesting is that you'll spend, you know, 30, 40, 100, $300,000 opening a shop. Some of you guys will investigate four or five or 10 roasters to find the proper coffee for you. I've got customers that have traveled to origin, you know, just to visit the coffee farms. And then what they do is they're open, everything's great. They put an 18 year old kid with a $300 cash register behind the counter and hope it's all gonna turn out. It doesn't make any sense. Um, it's kind of, for those of you with children, it's like leaving your kid with the crazy uncle. It's not something you really want to do, you know? So what we want to do here is talk about how we can use this, this technology to help you out in the store. And there's a number of different pieces and components to this. The primary one's going to be a point of sale system is what we're talking about. Um, technology costs money, that's the biggest roadblock that most people have is they don't want to spend the money on the front side, they'll do it down the road. The downside is, is when you start a, a coffee shop, that's the most important time to start tracking what's going on because that sets the stage for what's going to happen later on. That's where you gather your metrics to figure out what's happening in your store. So all of the things I'm talking about right now are used by our customers, they're used by my competitors' customers, they're used by the chains, to manage their businesses right now. And we want to take those ideas and put them in your hands so that you can do this as well. So <clears throat> here's some general areas that we're going to talk about throughout this, this uh, time we've got this morning. We're going to talk about how we can reduce training and increase your accuracy, how we can track what's selling and, and why it's selling, because that's an important component as well, control our inventory and, and waste management, <clears throat> identify theft, I'm gonna warn you right now, that's a little bit of the negative conversation we're gonna have here this morning. Um, utilize gift and reward programs and then track and market to our customers. <clears throat> um, each of these items is key to managing and running your business. Because something we find with a lot of coffee shop owners is that you're so passionate about what you're doing, there are some of you that tend to not focus on the business aspect of the store as much. And the, the downside to that is you can pour the best latte art in the universe, you can be the best barista you can be, but if you're pulling shots at home, you're not really doing yourself any favors if your goal was to own a coffee shop, okay? So we want to keep you in business, and for those of you that are thinking about opening a business, hopefully, you know, maybe give you some ideas of things that you need to be on top of uh, based on the experience that we've had as a company with our customers. So <clears throat> let's start with the order process. 
It all starts with getting your employees behind you. Because if you make your order process difficult, your employees are going to complain. Um, so we want something that's very easy to use. We want something that's going to allow you to do uh, zero training, that's going to have you hire an employee, put them in, and, and theoretically have them start taking the orders with very little um, effort on their side. So all the tracking starts with the employees, because if, if it's difficult, they're not going to do it. Okay? The last thing we want is our employees to subvert the tools that we put in place. So we have to make it very simple to do. Um, <clears throat> when we do this, if, um, if we've got something that's easy and they do it, that means that the employees are actually going to use uh, the system and that's going to allow us to track what's going on. It's going to make us more efficient. Less training time means more time working on the store. So any of you, when you train an employee, you have to train them on how to serve coffee the way you're doing it, how to pull the proper shots and everything else. That's accepted. But you shouldn't have to train them on how to take money from a customer, how to ring up an order, things like that. What we want them to do is actually focus on the customer and the product, okay? Not focus on the, the order method that's happening there. And some of this means that we're going to uh, get into um, consistent pricing and, and tracking. You know, one of the things that a lot of the chain stores have going for them is the fact that everything costs the same everywhere you go, okay? And that the product's made the same way everywhere you go, okay? So Selbysoft and companies like ours can't help you with the product. There's lots of seminars that can help you on that. But we can help you make sure that the pricing is always the same. Nobody wants to go to a shop and have $3 one day, $3.50 the next day, $2.80 the next day for the same drink. Okay. But what we're actually expecting of our employees is we're expecting them to remember the price of every single item in the store, every combination that can come up, and have that memorized. It just doesn't happen. You know, when I was 21, I was working for beer and gas money. A lot of people are like that. So if we've got tools in place that allow them to just simply push buttons on the screen and not worry about what the outcome is as far as pricing goes, they're going to use it. And then our thought is that they're going to spend more time with your customer as well. They're going to spend more time on the product as well instead of head buried in the cash register. Have you ever seen that? You go into a store, you order something, and the kid does this. And he's just sitting there for three minutes, not looking at you, not smiling at you, not asking you about your day. He's buried in the cash register trying to figure out how to make the change you just told him about. That's what we don't want, okay? We want to make it very, very simple for you. So again, we're going to focus on the customer and the product, not on the order process here. Okay. Um, and by the way, if anyone has any questions as we move along here, just feel free to shout them out and we'll, we'll address them as we go along. <clears throat> so if we've got the tools in place and we've got our employees using it, how can we increase accuracy? and hopefully allow that to increase our revenue. Okay. One of the best ways is to use force modifiers. Okay. Most of the computerized tools out there have something called force modifiers, which means that when you order a product, it asks a question. So that employee then is required to ask a question of the customer. Force modifiers do a lot of things. They can, uh, they can introduce new products to customers. And I'll, I'll give you a great example of this. There was a sandwich shop that opened up um, in Puyallup that uh, I would go to, order the same sandwich, you know, once a week. After a couple weeks, I go in, <clears throat> the person behind the counter, I order the sandwich and they go, do you want that on white wheat or sourdough? I said, I, I didn't even know you had those options. I had no idea that the sandwich even came that way. No one's ever asked me that before. This was the owner of the store. She's going to ask the question, you know, because she's very passionate about her business and wants things done right. But our employees, as soon as I order the sandwich, they're done. They're just going to make the sandwich, get me out of the store so they can go back to, you know, texting on their cell phones. Um, so we want this to introduce new ideas. And some of these things are, uh, there is a big movement in today's world, you know, that we've seen in a lot of coffee shops as far as drip, as far as pour over and, and uh, Chemex and things like this. So have your, your system ask the question, introduce to the customer, which blend of coffee do you want? You know, hey, we have more than just our house coffee. We have three blends back here. How do you want it prepared? Do you want that French press? Do you want that uh, Chemex or whatever you want to do? And that way you're introducing new products to your customers. 